Hello and welcome to Council Recap, where we take the content of the City Council meetings and give you the breakdown. I'm Francisco Castillo. The meeting began with a proclamation for the Del Air Baptist Church, celebrating their 75th anniversary since its inception in 1945. The church and its congregation has worked hard to unify the city's unique and diverse community under the guiding principle of faith according to the council. In the resolution portion of the meeting, Resolution 8242 was passed, approving the city's pay schedule. In order to be in compliance with regulations from the Public Employees Retirement Law and the Public Employees Pension Reform Act of 2013, as well as California Code of Regulations, the city must approve a publicly listed pay schedule document that lists all the city's job classifications along with the appropriate salary rate. Next. Resolution 8244 approved a request by community members to install two stop signs at the intersection of Wilton Place and 115th Street. Council then approved Resolution 8245. The city seeks to renovate Zella Davis Park by the Los Angeles Neighborhood Land Trust, also known as LANLT. The park is located at 133rd Street and Cornbloom Avenue. The city will develop a conceptual plan for improvements while LANLT will lead the grant application process and community outreach. In the public hearing portion of the meeting, Council approved the Consolidated Annual Performance and Evaluation Report for fiscal year 2019-2020. This annual report required by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development describes and outlines how funds from the Community Development Block Grant or CDBG and Home Investment Partnership funds are used by the city. Then in the general matters portion of the meeting, Lieutenant Joel Romero from the Hawthorne Police Department gave an oral report on the status of enforcement efforts related to commercial development center cleaning schedules. Police and code enforcement officers have identified all locations within the city that are subject to the statute. They also have contacted the responsible parties for each location in order to give them a reasonable period of time for voluntary compliance to the cleaning schedules. Next, the city will reopen the emergency rental assistance grant program that was designed to help individuals and families affected by the COVID-19 pandemic who have experienced job loss, furloughs, or reduction in hours or pay. The program will reopen for applicants from November 12th through December 1st, 2020 on a first-come, first-served basis. Then, Finance Director Feliz Lopez gave the Council an update on the fiscal year 2019-2020 budget and review of the first quarter financial report for fiscal year 2020-2021. The City Manager's Consent Calendar had a few items this week. First, Council approved a blanket purchase order to Catholic Charities of Los Angeles for Homeless Coordination Services under the direction of Recreation and Community Services Department. The Council will use a donation from the Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation to assist with the replacement of the dance floor at the Betty Ainsworth Sports Center. The center provides multiple dance classes to children and adults of all ages with classes such as ballet, hip hop and jazz. The current dance floor has thinned, warped and started to come apart in various areas, which could lead to injuries. Next. Progress payment number four to Sean and Corporation of Downey, California for local street improvement project selected streets within Ramona, Bodger Park, Monita Gardens, and several other neighborhoods throughout the city will have streets rehabilitated to improve safety and drivability. The council approved the use of funds from the Police Department Asset Forfeitures account and approved a purchase order to Akuma Enterprise for the purchase of police vehicles. The department is asking to replace two undercover narcotic vehicles and two additional vehicles that will be used to assist with patrol functions and narcotics enforcement. Council also approved an agreement with Granicus for design and development of a new city website. The new website will provide additional online services for residents. The project will improve online communication ability and increase functionality for residents and businesses. The council authorized the solicitation of bids for the Holly Park and Ramona Park improvement project. The work at Holly Park will consist of removing and replacing existing playground equipment, improve the park's lighting and add new barbecue pits. At Ramona Park, new exercise equipment will also be installed and many areas like the basketball courts will be rehabilitated. Next, the city will enter into an agreement with Southern California Edison to replace street light fixtures with energy efficient LED lights throughout the city. 
This will not only improve safety and visibility, but LED lasts longer, resulting in less outages and providing savings to future energy costs. The council then approved an agreement and a purchase order for housing advisory services with Harris and Associates. The funds will be appropriated from the city's successor agency. Next, the city council approved a blanket purchase order to Arthur J. Gallagher and Company Insurance Brokers of California in exchange for the provision of insurance services to the city not limited to earthquake insurance and underground storage tank liability insurance. The council then received and filed an informational report in regards to a proposed community garden initiative utilizing Caltrans abatement spaces. After numerous calls and emails, Caltrans informed staff that the project will not be feasible at this time. In the city attorney's consent calendar, council approved placement of a public notice on the city's website and cable media regarding maintenance and repair of sidewalks in the city of Hawthorne Municipal Code Section 12 places the duty of repair and maintenance of sidewalks on the adjacent property owner. Well, that's it for the meeting this week. Thank you for joining us for Council Recap. Remember, you can watch City Council meetings in their entirety by going to www.youtube.com and searching for Hawthorne Community Television. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.